Hello again everyone, my name is Joshua Aniken Acosta and in this video we are going to modify our two-digit counter. So we are going to add a remote control functionality using the IR or the infrared sensor and the IR remote control or the IR remote. So here, our pin diagram for the uh, IR sensor is we have the output, we have the ground, and we have the power. So the requirement for the output of our uh, infrared sensor is that it should be connected to a digital input output pin which is PWM compatible. So we are going to connect it to our pin 11 here in our Arduino. But since previously in our two-digit counter, we have used the pin 11 and 12 for our button controls. So here we have shifted the button controls from pin 11 and 12 to pin 12 and pin 13, as you can see here. And since for our pin 13, we cannot use the built-in pull-up resistor of our Arduino, so we will be using here two 1 kilo ohm resistors for our uh, pull-up resistor for the buttons. So the functionality of our counter here is the same. So before we start our program, we should identify which buttons in our remote control we will be using. Here I decided that we are going to use the volume plus and the volume minus button for our count up and count down controls. So the volume plus will be for our count up and the volume minus will be for our countdown. So here is our simple uh, infrared receiver circuit. So let us proceed with the code. So we need to include the uh, IR remote library. And here is also our setup. So we have uh, made it so that it will uh, uh, be connected to the, the receive pin will be the pin 3. And also we have for the void setup, we have the serial begin serial.begin because we want the Arduino to connect with our serial monitor here and what we want is to uh, see the values of our volume plus and volume minus hexadecimal values in our serial monitor so for the void setup we also have the IR receive that enable IR in and lastly is for our main code which is for the in the void loop so this uh, if statement here is activated when the ir sensor receives a an ir signal so if it receives a signal then what we want here is to print that signal to our serial monitor so this one here the results that value provides the value only of our hexadecimal that is uh, sent from the infrared remote control. So normally it is displayed as an integer, but we want it to be displayed as a hexadecimal. And after we print the value, we will start to receive again after this uh, code here is executed. And this is done by the IR receive that resume. So if we do not have this IR receive that resume, then this the value of this uh, variable here, the results that value, it will always stay the same. So let us start. Okay, and as you can see here, if I press any of the buttons, it will provide a specific hexadecimal value. Let us try it. Okay. And as you can see here, we have an 8-bit hexadecimal value. So what does this imply? It means that if we press the button long enough, then it will provide a value of this one. 
there so it's kind of like an error value so we clear this so the only values that we need is for the volume plus and the volume minus for our count up and countdown functions so for the volume plus okay so this is our hexadecimal value for the volume plus we need to copy this and we need to remember this so that we can input it later in our code for the two digit counter so volume plus okay and next is for the volume minus here so we also need to copy this and take note of it And there is our volume minus. And now, let us proceed to our uh, original circuit. So for our code, I have already configured it. So now we are ready to simulate our circuit here. So since our code here uses the blinking or scanning effect, then this... Uh, uh, codes are activated at a very fast uh, rate so we only have a delay of 10 another 10 and uh, 20 so a total of 40 milliseconds delay for each uh, set for each cycle of code, code execution so as you can see here in our simulator time one second actually takes about three seconds in real time and that is because of our code the uh, complexness of our code so let us try if the buttons are still working so this should still be working with the remote control as our alternatives so if we toggle the countdown button then it starts to count down Okay, let us reset. Okay, if we press the volume minus, which is also equivalent to our countdown, then it will also start to count down. And there. Let us reset this again. If we press the count up, it will not do anything. If we press the volume plus, it will also not do anything. If we press other buttons it will also not do anything if we press the volume minus it starts to count down so this is currently counting down so let us see if the buttons are still working count up okay and count down and count up and countdown okay it's working so how about our uh, remote here so for our other buttons it does not work if the if this uh, code here is already counting down then the volume minus will also will not give an error so let us press the volume plus okay it immediately started to count and it works so now we can proceed with our actual simulation for the two digit counter uh, with the, using the remote control and also the buttons but before we proceed with the code let us not forget that our volume up and vol volume down hexadecimal values will also change because we will use a different remote control for our actual simulation rather than our compared to our uh, virtual simulation here so what we need first to configure is the ir simple receiver circuit so that we will know what hexadecimal values 
are provided by our actual remote control. So select all and copy. Copy again just to make sure. So we will search here. Okay, there. Arduino. IDE. I select all and paste and verify. Then we just save this. So I'm sorry because the uh, green uh, bar here below is covered by the uh, video capture overlay in our video. Anyway, it is done compiling and now we are ready to upload this in our Arduino. But I still haven't configured the actual circuit. So now that we have arranged our circuit in the breadboard, so we also have a remote here which is a samsung brand okay let me show this so here is our remote and we can try to uh, use the volume a plus or minus here so let us see what the actual code looks like, the actual hexadecimal value. So let's try this. So first we connect our Arduino, our laptop. There. Okay. And we also need to check the tools. So we have the Arduino Uno and the COM6. And now we are ready to upload this code here in our Arduino. And done uploading. And now we will open here the serial monitor. Okay. So let us check what the value of the hexadecimal code here if we press the plus here. So since uh, and we cannot see this plus and minus here in our video when we press the plus, okay, I guess it's okay. So now when I press the plus button, there. So it said the function decode is depreciated and may not work as expected. So just use the code without a parameter and I receiver, okay. But anyway what we want to achieve here is to get the hexadecimal value and it uh, for me it works just fine so let us press the plus button a few more times there okay as you can see if we press the plus button the tx uh, blinks every time the button is pressed okay so we will copy this one Uh, let's just click the control C and paste it in our okay, notepad. We'll put another plus and that one. And for the minus, for the volume minus, so here is our volume minus. If I click the volume minus, okay, there. So let me just copy this again and input it here in our notepad, the volume minus. So here, let us control A and control C and paste it here in our Arduino, control A, control V and change 
the volume up and the volume down. So for the volume up, we have the, okay, so actually our remote here uses 8 bits hexadecimal value. So let me copy this one and paste it here. Okay, that's for the volume up. And for the volume down, we will copy this one. And we will paste it here. And before we upload, let us first verify. And it says done compiling. So now that we have completed our circuit for the uh, actual demonstration of our two-digit uh, counter with uh, infrared remote controls, we will now upload this uh, code. But before we upload, let, uh, let me explain this uh, the changes that I have made here. So for a receive pin, I have changed it to pin 11. So the pin 11 is also PWM compatible. And I have also changed the delay, the total delay for uh, uh, each blink that we are going to uh, execute, that the Arduino is going to execute. So previously, we have a delay of a total of 40. So we have that 10 delay, delay of 10 milliseconds here, another 10 and another 20 here. So that is because our simulator, the Tinkercad, cannot uh, execute the uh, blinking code here fast enough for a lower delay in milliseconds. So it uh, it displays uh, almost uh, every segment of the 7 segment LED to be on. So since this is an actual uh, demonstration of our two-digit counter then we will change the delay here to only be a total of 10 milliseconds for each blink so that even the video I mean the uh, uh, cell phone that I am using to capture the uh, video will not be able to recognize the blinking because it is uh, very fast and since every blink takes about 10 milliseconds to complete and we want the counting to count at uh, 0 0.5 seconds per count then we need 50 blinks in each count so that 50 times 10 is 500 milliseconds or 0 0.5 a seconds so I have also changed the speed, the number of blinks, to be 50. And now we are ready to upload this program. But before we upload, let me first connect our Arduino. There, the magical sound. And here, let's also check the tools. Okay, so our board is Arduino Uno, that's correct. And we also have the uh, 
computer also recognizes our device. And now we are ready to upload. And uploading. And done uploading. So let me proceed here in our video for the digital counter. Okay, so let me first turn off the lights and there we go. So as you can see here, even in our video, the blinking is already not noticeable because the uh, speed of the blink is uh, 10 milliseconds per blink. Okay, so let me go back. Here is our uh, button. The left button here is for our count up. And our right button here is for the countdown. So first, let me try the buttons, if the buttons are still working. So for the countdown, the toggling effect is when it is released. So when you press the button and you release, it immediately starts the countdown. And also for the countdown, if it is pressed and then released, it will immediately start to count up. There. So let me repeat. Okay, so it works properly. Let me reset the Arduino. And now we will try our remote. So here is our remote. So here is our plus and minus buttons. So as you can see here, even if I press other buttons, it does not activate. Okay. So, okay. Now, if I press the uh, minus, the volume minus, it will immediately start to count down. Let me try this and go. Okay. It immediately started to count down. And if I press the plus, uh, volume plus button, it will immediately start to count up. There. And even though, in, even if I press it uh, for a very long time, okay, it does not affect, does not provide an error for our counting. Also for our volume plus, okay. And now let us see if it stops counting down at 64. So let us wait for a bit. stops counting down at 64. Now let us press the plus or the count up, the volume plus and go. Oh, actually it receives even though I placed the remote at the back of the sensor. If I placed it in a reverse direction, oh, it still actually receives. That's surprising. Here, let me show you. Okay. Actually, it can't be shown. Okay. Let's just wait for the 23. And it stops counting up at 23. So our two-digit counter is still functional and has the same effects as our previous two-digit counter, but we just added the uh, remote control for our counter. So anyways, that is the end of our presentation. And as always, thank you for watching.